Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the part 2 of the previous video where we learned the basics of Illustrator in just 10 minutes. If you haven't seen the previous video, click the link that appeared above or check the description. You must watch that video first where we cover the basic tools and features. In this video, we will cover the advanced tips and tools in the Illustrator. At the end of this video, we will make this cute astronaut illustration from a basic sketch using the tools we learned to give you a better idea and hands-on experience to work in Illustrator. So make sure to watch till the end. Let's get started. First we will learn some tools we skipped in the previous video. Let's learn the curvature tool in detail. Both the curvature tool and pen tool have similar objective, which is creating custom shapes. Let's trace this leaf so you can spot the difference between each tool. With pen tool selected, click and then click and drag. Adjust the curves with direct selection for accuracy. Then continue the shape. Hold Alt and click on the previous anchor point to remove a handle. Then continue the shape. You can hold spacebar before letting go the left key on the mouse to adjust the position of the anchor point before you finalize the position of it. Now let's trace the same object with the curvature tool. It works a bit different. Select the tool then click to add a point. Then click again along the path. If you notice there are no handles. But if you drag a mouse without holding any key you will see a curve. I explained in the previous video that the curvature tool do all the tedious handle work for us automatically. Follow the path with the curvature tool by adding points accordingly. For corners, double click with this tool on corner, then continue the path. Then we have the rotate tool and reflect tool. Rotate tool allows you to rotate the object. Select the rotate tool with the object selected. Click to add a pivot point to rotate the shape in a certain way. Reflect tool allows you to create a mirror copy of the object. Select the object then click. Set the target point of the reflection. Hold the Alt key and drag to create a mirror copy of it. You can hold Shift key while dragging to reflect perfectly. Next we have the eyedropper tool, which allows you to sample color from any other objects. Keep the object selected, then use the eyedropper tool and click on the required color. It will sample the color from it and update the color of your object. You can hold the Shift key by clicking to just sample the fill color or just sample the stroke color by selecting stroke or fill from the tools panel. Now we look at above options. We'll go over effects tab. The effects tab is divided into two parts. Illustrator effects are more vector oriented, means they are made for objects and paths you create in Illustrator. You can just click and select any of these effects you want to apply on a object or path. For example, let's apply zigzag to a simple path. Photoshop effects are more pixel oriented, although Illustrator has nothing to do with pictures and pixels, but these effects are useful too. For example, to blur an object, you can select Gaussian Blur. Or apply a texture to your vector objects. These all options are self-explanatory. You can select any option to check the functionality of it. Now let's create a cute astronaut illustration. Make sure to pay attention as well. I will explaining the further tools and options so you can get a better idea about the tools and get a hands-on experience. By the way, I am starting a series on my YouTube channel to create vector illustrations where you will get illustrator hands-on experience and secret tips and tricks that I learned over the years of using Illustrator. If it interests you, 
make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when i upload let's create a new document by pressing control n choose any resolution you want on the right side you can change the resolution i am using 1920 by 1080 and hit create then import our sketch to import an image go up to file place select the file and hit import this is the basic sketch this means i can create more accurate lines highlights and shadows in illustrator the sketch is just the basic idea go to windows and select the layers panel layers are like building a stack of objects layers helps us to organize our work in the bottom layer i will place the sketch and then lower its opacity i will lock the layer as well now on new layer i will create the actual illustration you can use pen tool or curvature tool to trace it i will use both tools according to my need i already explained the working of the pen tool and curvature tool so now i will trace the whole sketch i will turn off the fill and select only the stroke i will speed up this part so i can keep the duration under 10 minutes you can slow down the speed of the video right here on youtube to watch me work slowly all right i'll see you in a sec Now the tracing is done let's add some colors before adding color we need to identify the light source for highlights and shadows in this illustration i assume the light is coming from top now let's add some colors before adding color it's important to create a color palette you can use the adobe color website to, to get your required color After you created the color scheme, you can use the eyedropper tool to add color to your object. Just select the object and with the eyedropper tool selected, click to add color. I will add color to the whole illustration. Now I will create a sky and clouds for the background. For this I will just create a circle and cloud shapes with the pen tool. Notice the clouds are sticking out of the shape. I want the clouds to be cut off at the end to fit in the circle. For this I will use the mask feature of Adobe Illustrator. I will select the clouds and go to object and select compound path. Compound path means now Illustrator consider multiple shapes as one shape. So when I compound path both clouds, Illustrator think them as one shape but actually there are two. This will be helpful for us. Now I create a copy of the background sky and paste it in front of the clouds. As the clouds got hidden behind the circle, I can go to outline mode to select them. Press Ctrl Y on the keyboard. Then the illustrator is converted to outline mode, where we can easily select hidden and behind shapes. Select the clouds and press Ctrl plus Y again to came out from the outline mode. Then select the front shape by holding down the shift key. When clouds and front shape is selected, go to object and select the clipping mask. It will convert the front shape as a mask. Now we got the everything inside the mask. I will just put it in the center of our illustration and go to object, arrange and send to back. Here comes my favorite part, creating highlights and shadows. Before creating them, I want to give my artwork an outline. It's just a personal preference style. You can create without an outline. Select the whole artwork and hold Alt and drag to create a copy. Then I will turn everything to stroke by pressing the arrow key next to the fill and stroke. Then I will change the stroke size and its style to round corners. and paste it to top of my artwork. 
You can move it back or front according to the parts of the illustration. By going to Object, Arrange and Send to Back or Forward. Then create shapes for highlights and shadows according to the light direction and arrange their positions as well by sending them behind the stroke. Let me know in the comments if you want to see in detail how I create perfect highlights and shadows. I will definitely create a tutorial on that as well. Now our illustration is ready, but if I scale up or down, the stroke will lose its actual size. To prevent that from happening, just go to expand. Now stroke is converted into a way that it will not change its proportions, no matter how much you scale it. After everything is done, don't forget to drag on everything and go to object and group it. If you have followed this video so far, congrats, you learned a lot today. So this was the advanced overview of Adobe Illustrator. We covered almost every useful tool. If you still have some questions, you can ask them in the comment section or you can ask them to my Instagram page. I'll be uploading more Illustrator tips and tricks. In the next uploads, we will create modern and detailed illustrations in Adobe Illustrator. If that interests you, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you can get notified when I upload. Make sure to leave a like, share your thoughts in the comment section and share this video among your friends. Thank you so much for watching it till the end. I'll see you in my next one. Take care.